Hello. So today's recipe, which I sent you last week, is a very easy one. Um, as I said, I'm trying to show you things that you can cook for one, if there's any one of you, or two, or several. If you have a, do you remember the days when friends came to lunch? This would be an ideal recipe for that. So as I asked you to do, I'm sure you have sliced your leeks extremely finely and put them in a microwave dish and pierced it with a fork or a knife or just made some holes in it. So you put those in the dish and you sprinkle the water over and then you put those in your microwave for three minutes. Now my microwave is an 850 watt microwave, which is three minutes. It may need slightly longer if you have a small or lower wattage one. Um, so I'm going to put that in there for three minutes. Oh. Whilst that's in there, you can slice your tomatoes in half. I've already done mine, but while that's cooking, you can slice the tomatoes in half. And if you wish, you can skin your salmon. I like my salmon skins. You don't have to have it skinned, but I prefer the skin off. So I'm going to take the skin off mine. And skinning fish is really the easiest thing, if you have some scissors, the easiest thing in the world. My salmon comes from Regal Fish in Grimsby and it comes pre-packed. Each, each, um, uh, each fillet is pre-packed. I have to cut the bread through. And then they have to be skinned. So the way to do that is just to lift a little corner of the skin, get a sharp knife underneath it, pull the skin away as you slice and the skin will come off very easily. Just hold the, hold the flesh of the salmon. Can you see how I'm doing that? I'm sure you know how to do this, but just in case you don't. Pull the skin and you hold it with the knife and it will just come off really easily. It's a very, very easy thing to do. If you don't like skin, then you're not going to eat it. Unless it's really crisp up, I will never eat it. Bob does, but I never do. So that's the way to do it. So that's one salmon steak and another salmon steak we're going to do exactly the same. Also at this time you can be preparing the sauce, which is the olive oil and the mustard, whole grain mustard I've used. If you haven't got whole grain mustard you could just use Dijon, but I have whole grain in the cupboard, so that's what I used. So whole grain mustard, um, honey, the sweetness, olive oil, mix it all together and a bit of salt and pepper. And you put that together, if you have it, you can just whisk it up with a fork. I've got a little tiny whisk, which is very useful for things like this. Oh, this is so good. It's slippy because it's being frozen. It's slippier than it would be if it hadn't been frozen. But they've been frozen because regal fish come down from Grimsby once every, it's eight weeks. So anything that has been in the freezer. So those can all go into the bin and there's your salmon ready to go on and I'm just going to wash my hands quickly and I'm going to dry my kitchen roll in case they're a bit fishy a bit fishy so once your uh, leeks are cooked, you leave them to stand for about a minute. And I've whisked that together, can you see, in my bowl. It's a very big bowl, I'm afraid. My little bowl has got um, a, a, a tiny bowl, which would be ideal, but it's not you've got stuff in. So having got those, um, you've got your sauce and you've got your leeks cooked. It's actually going to stand for one minute. We will take those out of the microwave. Be careful, obviously, because of the steam that comes out when you open this. So they've softened right down. I do love leeks, I have to say. I hope you do. Obviously, my recipes aren't always going to suit everybody because there might be something you don't like. But being these recipes from Earth Bar to leeks are probably fairly essential, aren't they? So, you scatter the tomatoes on the top of the leeks. 
and you pour on half the sauce. Now, if you're doing this just for one person, you won't have a lot of sauce. I'm doing it for two people and there isn't a lot of sauce. So if you felt there wasn't enough, you could always, I think, probably make a double amount. But then I like sauce on my food. So you put half the sauce over your leeks and your tomatoes. And then you lay the salmon on top of it, like that. And you put the rest of the sauce over the salmon. Now they say in the recipe to serve it with crusty bread to soak up the juice. I am actually serving it with new potatoes. Um, for various reasons. One is my husband absolutely adores potatoes and meals without potatoes are somewhat anathema to him. So I'm going to serve it with potatoes, but you could serve it just with crusty bread or you could serve it with um, whatever you fancy really. I'm not doing any other vegetables. So that's what it looks like, which I think is really pretty actually. And then you just cover it in some cling film. This is one of the easiest recipes but it just shows that your microwave does not just do jacket potatoes. You can make really delicious things in a microwave. Cover that in some cling film. Oops. Cover that in some cling film. And cook it. Put your leek there. For nine minutes. And that is all there is to it, and that's your dinner. And I think it's a really brilliant recipe. Three steps is all you have to take. The longest thing was chopping the leeks, which took me forever. Uh, but once you've done that, it's really, really simple. Very quick, very tasty, very delicious, and no waste at all, apart from the skin of the salmon. I don't like wasting anything, so which is why, as I've said this several times, salmon and chicken are my go-to meats. Um, we don't eat lots of red meat, we eat very, very little red meat, but salmon and chicken are just perfect for that. So here we have our dinner which will be ready in nine minutes and I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. <laughs>